Welcome everyone to MGTOW and Motorcycles. I'm your host Rabbit. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Today's a good day to go out and ride. It's gonna start getting a little bit more cooler as the weeks go on as it is uh, getting towards uh, October, you know. It's like the first weekend of October. I haven't been able to get my mic situated yet, guys. You got to use the left, uh, that left ear, but I apologize about this, guys. I really do. I'm, I'm trying my best, but it doesn't seem like I can find a good mic out there. This is probably the best mic so far, and I have not been able to find a good mic that's just overall the best in the game. So I'm going to order up a 2.5 female adapter to a 3.5 male adapter and see if that works out and hopefully it does i should go by walmart today maybe check it out and i don't want to go by best buy because i've been there before and they're like oh we don't have that so maybe walmart might have it we'll go see and uh i'm gonna go from there maybe i'll just ride down there real quick i ain't got much going on i could go home and play some uh borderland three or some gears of war five the joy of being a MGTOW you always got money and all that cool jazz so i'm on my way just riding on around today's topic i'm gonna skip the vision might put it in towards the end but today is talking about don't date the uh the leeches of america and these the leeches of america are single mothers today most men don't understand dating single mothers is social suicide it's physical suicide it's financial suicide you need to stay away from these women man they're like they 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 got leper they like got, they got that disease called leprosy all right you don't want to go up there and hug them you don't want to go up there and talk to them and these are the type of women just you just want to stay away from because physically they can't do what you can do they they need you as a man all right now i, I i'll have to say that women can't do what men can do uh physically they can't go up on top of roofs they can't they can't mow or they don't want to mow i mean i've never really seen a single woman women that are not doing double monkey backflips out here on chad and tyrone they got them over there doing uh doing doing the housework for them now, you know what i'm saying doing the outside work i've never seen a woman live by herself and able to do the stuff i do at my own home in my own time they always need to have a man to do it because they just can't do it or they just don't want to women don't want to do the physical part of uh being a homeowner or mostly anything to be honest with you next they need you emotionally women are just they need a man to be a tampon all right you don't need to be that tampon type of guy you need to be on your own grind you need to be in your own space and doing your own thing in life most of these chicks out here they just they need you and you don't need to be around them all right so third they need you financially being a single mother is hard work man hey they made all the wrong choices they got impregnated by chad and tyrone you know slick rick and sport coat willie so they got four different kids by four different guys now they need a a, a good man god i hate this goddamn road Ugh. if you want to bump through something bump through that i always dislike going through that road these uh they they need you financially all right at the end of the day because they had all these kids by all different types of men made all the wrong choices and now you're gonna be that cuckoo bird, you know, taking care of someone else's. Hey, puppy, puppy! Taking someone else's, take care of someone else's uh, DNA. Don't go taking care of someone else's DNA, guys. Don't ever take care of someone else's kid. It is the wrong way to go. It's it, it's futile. I mean, as a man, I'm letting you guys know this. All right. So now we're gonna go into the kid part. We we just talked about you know that kid's never gonna be yours. But if you ever break up, and you know, you're gonna break up because it's just how life is. Everything ends. You know, let's just be real. Let's just, God, I got blue through that light. Y'all didn't see that. I was watching that light <clears throat> up ahead. That guy just blew through that sucker like it was just nothing. All right. So, yeah. Don't, don't, that kid's never gonna be yours. All right. That kid's never going to respect you. The moment that mother sister says, hey, if you're in this situation, the moment the, that mother says that's not your kid, you can't discipline that child, is the moment you need to walk or you need to kick her out. Because, hey, that kid's not going to respect you anymore. I'm going to tell you what, if that, kid's, that kid is going to respect you if you sit there and say, uh, you need to get out of my house. All right? And there's, you can leave and there's the door. You know, uh, 
Tom Lanskin said, or whatever the heck, Tom Lansky, whatever the heck his name is, can't pronounce his name right now. I'm all tongue tied. So, yeah, don't let these cunts or these, these, these tramps dictate your life, and don't let their little uh, bastards dictate your life either. Just walk on. All right, so they, they need those someone to take care of that kid financially. They need someone to take care of that kid uh, physically as well. When she wants to do double monkey backflips and have girls' nights out, you're going to be that guy taking care of that kid. All right, so you think about it. Don't do it, guys. It's, it's not worth it as a man. It's not worth it as, as, as you know, as, a, as anything. Don't just stay away from these women. You know, they're lepers. They're, they're, they're leeches. They have nothing to offer you. If you really want to go out and date and you're, and you're in your prime, which most MGTOW men will always be in their prime because they don't have the financial obligations to, you know, being in a marriage or being financially obligated to be in society, aka dating someone, so they got all this extra money now. So think about it, guys. Think how much money you could be saving, let alone. You can be doing what you want to do. You're not a Captain Save-A-Ho. You're not there to save these young women out here or these old thoughts, man. It's not your job, all right? So if, they're, if they have one kid, just leave them alone because they're going to have another one because they're going to lock you down because that's what they do. They're, that's, that's their magic, all right? That's why women gave up their, give up their greatest gifts. Right, that's why women give up their greatest gifts, and, that, and that's their their their, their hoo hoo, their pink sleeve, their their magic pink sleeve. That men, you know, men talk about it. Don't fall into that that temptation, guys. And the joy of being a MGTOW is we're never going to fall into that temptation because we know what MGTOW means. What MGTOW means, men going their own ways. We currently are upset and with the injustice and inequality that's happening in the civil court systems, aka family court, and we're going our own way. We're doing our own thing. And uh, if you're going through a divorce, I want to say uh, I'm sorry. And unfortunately, you're going through a divorce, but fortunately, you found a channel that's going to support you. And uh, I'm going to give you some statistics right now. 53% chance on your first first go around is going to be your first first divorce rate. Second second time, second marriage is 73, and lastly, third marriage is 93 to 97%. With a woman initiating divorce, 80% of the time, guys. Don't. All right. So. You know, and a lot of these, a lot of these guys don't know this. I didn't know this. I didn't know any better. You know, and uh, unfortunately, she wants to do double monkey backflips, and you're gonna have to pay her for a long time. All right, alimony, alimony support. So she wants to be a prostitute. You got to pay for that. Just be ready for it. All right. I mean, this is this this is real life. This is me being honest here, and. Uh, I, I like being honest on this channel. I, I, I love coming out here talking with you guys. And this is the way we need to be. So as a man, we gotta be, you gotta be smart out here. There's still a lot of people at my church, man. Church I attend, there's still a lot of people there. I need to start staking around a little bit longer at church, I think. Just get to know people. I know most of all the guys, but there's like a lot of chicks and I'm just like, ugh, I gotta talk to women. I'm not trying to talk to women because they always want something. You can't be friends with a woman nowadays, it seems like. They always want something. And it always uh, starts with a D and ends with a K. Alright? And they always want to try to get me down. So uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we're going to be keeping it moving today. I'm going to go on up to... Uh, going on up there to uh, Walmart real quick and see if they got it. If they don't, they don't. It's not a big deal. I'll find something else to do. 